today, first, first and foremost, I'm just going to show you all the equipment I use as a online seller, reseller for sports cards. All of the different things that I think are kind of essential. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just like the ones I never know. What up, guys? It is snowing, and it looks like we're going to have a white Christmas because it's going to be freezing. It's not Christmas Day, but we um, are getting snow today, inch or two, and then it's going to be super cold, so it should stay on the ground through Christmas. I know a lot of people asked a lot of questions about the different things. My printer, uh, the AI service that I'm using, a lot of different things, and you, you want the specifics. So what I'm going to do is do this in, in sequential order we're going to do it in order today first first and foremost i'm just going to show you all the equipment i use as a online seller reseller for sports cards all of the different things that i think are kind of essential uh, a couple aren't but if you have them they uh, you know you it optimizes the process so let's go ahead and jump in here uh welcome back to the channel J Max sports cards my name is jason thanks for tuning in yeah and merry christmas to everyone so I uh, also want to shout out Josh from Mississippi, good friend of the channel and, and good friend of that, of, you know, obviously had on live streams and stuff like that. He sent me this hat as a Christmas present. So I was like, dude, that is so awesome. Um, you know, so it's, I said, this is one I would pick out in the store. It's definitely my style trucker hat, you know, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, today I'm going to just walk through, tell you what all the things that I think are kind of essential, as I said in the intro, to, um, you know, to selling, you know, selling a lot on online. So uh, sports card specific. Number one, you're going to need stuff like this. You're going to need bubble mailers. So uh, someone asked about the size that I use. I, uh, I had uh, these are, I think, six by nine. These are probably a little bit big. Five by seven is probably better. Four by six is fit snug. So you, if you know, if it's a thicker card, you know, a thicker slab, uh, the four by sixes are probably too snug. Then, like I said, on higher end um, slabs uh, that are over 50, I bought these slab specific boxes and they work uh, great. Um, I secure the, the slab inside bubble wrap, inside cardboard, put it in here. It's very secure. People feel really good about it. And then I also use these just Amazon basics for low end um, st eBay standard envelopes. So that's the different uh, shipping items that I use. And obviously again, bubble mailer, uh, bubble wrap, I should say. So I use that for if someone, you know, buys big bulk lots or something like that and needs to go into a box. And I, like I said, I wrap slabs in bubble wrap and put it in here um, when they're over $50. So that's uh, number one. And then here is my, uh, this right here is my scanner. It's an Epson 402. So this is a, this is a um, kind of an entry level document scanner. Really, any I, I think basically any document scanner will work with with the top load feeding mechanism on it right there. Is that expand so you can, um, and then you just put them in backwards and it feeds them through, scans them. So I had to tweak some settings on that to get um, to allow thicker cards to scan through the feeder. I heard that was some of the issues some people had had with this scanner. Um, but there, there are settings you can change and, and get that to work. I'm, like I said, I'm going to do a detailed, uh, individualized uh, video on how to use the scanner and how to use the AI service that I use. I'm going to show that today. But um, I, I, like I said, I figured I would just do this first. Like I said, you know, do this um, in sequential order. Show you everything that's needed. Uh, and then we can move along the the food chain and uh, i'll show do a detailed video on the scanner do a detailed video on car dealer pro which is the um service that i use i will show that today but then one of the biggest keys guys you got to have one of these this is a thermal uh thermal printer it does not use ink it just uh prints on labels it's a label thermal label printer so um these are key you know you see the the spool and they're all just um pr uh, labels so once it once you print it it uh, you just uh you don't have to put use tape or anything it's a sticker it sticks right on the package sticks on the bubble mailer or it sticks on the box or it sticks on 
um, even the the security envelopes. So, um, so the, so the, that is key. That right there is a game changer. Selling anything online, if you're if you're an online seller of anything, if uh, you know, because I use that for priority mail, anything, everything. You know, when I ship to consigners, when I ship to PSA, when I ship to SGC. Um, you know, anything I use, I'm using that label printer. So I, n I never have to go to the post office. I personally use pirate ship, uh, S H I P, um, dot com, which is a, a service where you would go in and you buy your, your postage and then you print the label and you know, your transaction occurs on pirate ship. I only go to the post office to drop things off because I don't want to leave them in my mailbox or outside. I actually like to physically go. I got a, I got a, a post office within one about a mile away from my house so i've actually walked there one time just when the weather was nice and stuff like that with a backpack and took took the stuff so then a couple other things so what i do is and you need you need top loaders you know so the way i started when i started getting a lot more inventory i just penny uh sleeve everything some of the stuff some of the stuff this is all listed items but some of the stuff still has um top loaders on it but you can see a lot of it is just penny sleeve and then i'll pick it i'll pick whatever sells and i will top load it and then i put it this is low end and then i put it in a team bag um and then it goes in the envelope so that's the process i found that's most efficient um you could you know use the blue tape but i think that sometimes that kind of ruins the top loader and, and then the person who gets it has to put it in another top loader um i mean the blue painter's tape is pretty good but on really hot days that stuff's still going to rub off and be on the top loader so using the team bags the car's not going to slip out and it's just it's just it's just a better presentation to send out um you know your stuff so <clears throat> one other thing and then i'll get into and show you the i'll show you the car dealer pro um app but so i've got like i said it is a mess right now because uh, I was processing, looking at some cars to grade and stuff like that. It's a big desk here, but this is the area where I take pictures of slabs. And the key thing is having some decent light. So I turn this on. So that's my light. Faces the slabs. So, and I'll put them here. And then I'll take a pic. And you can see, actually to get good pics, you need to dilute the light. You need to have more light coming and it won't be there won't be a big glare so that's how i take good picks manual picks um do all the low-end scans using the document scanner and then i do the slabs doing that um she's trying to hide here but this is my daughter <laughs> she came out here because my shed's out here in the backyard so once the snow starts building up she wants to go play in it so she's gonna hang out with me uh, while i'm shooting this video so we can go play in the snow a little bit so anyway that's that's an overview that's really what you need and then you need inventory you need cards so i got plenty of that as you can see <laughs> over there uh it's just loaded up with inventory so i've got enough list to list for months so um i had someone kind of arguing with me in the uh, comments about why i shouldn't sell low end on ebay but listen man a lot of these collections I'm a I'm hundred percent already in profit in them there. So maybe I only make 50 cent on a card after shipping and uh, eBay fees. Guess what? That 50 cent is a hundred percent profit. So do you, okay. Whatever works best for you. There are ways to profit and do things. And you got your own, everybody's got their own strategy, right? But guys, this is, this is the way I'm doing it. And it's, it's very efficient it's in, it works very well so this this is what i'm going to do you know don't argue in the comments go make your own video if you don't think the way i'm doing it, it's a good way uh, crank up a channel do it yourself i'd love to watch it I, I might get something out of it so that's all so i'm gonna say about that let's jump over and look at uh car dealer pro okay so jumping over here this is the car dealer pro website and you see i have an account going here my membership level is rookie and you can see the scans my scans this month are um i've scanned rookie level gets you 2500 scans per month and i've scanned about half of those so got quite a bit left here um and I, i'll upgrade and change membership and show you this is so you can you can try this for like seven days for free um on this level on the prospect level so if you wanted to just try it out and do that 
Uh, and oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna link everything. I'm gonna link my scanner. I'm gonna link my ther thermal printer. Everything's on Amazon, and it is Amazon affiliate links. If you want to, you know, if you want to check any of that stuff out, please do. Um, even even the bubble mailers and the I'll, I'll link everything that I use down in the description below, so uh, you can go check it out. And I'll get a little kickback, but you you know, there's no raised price on it. Um, but I will do that for you. Anyone who wants to go check out the stuff that I use $20 a month, essentially $19. It gives you 1100 scans. I bumped up to, uh, the rookie level, which gives you 2,500 scans. And, uh, I'm, I'm thinking I'll probably have to go to this all-star level eventually here, which is $59 a month. Listen, uh, it takes money to make money. So to me, this is a small fee. I can, I can definitely get that back in one day on eBay. So one day's worth of sales will be covered um, on this membership. All right, and then essentially I go back to the dashboard. I don't know how they calculate this, but it says time saved using this. I've saved almost two weeks or something like that. Uh, two, two work week, uh, you know, 40 hour work weeks almost is what they said I've almost already saved with these um, 1155 scans. Here it goes. So through my scanner recently, I scanned it. This is a batch of uh, vintage cards. Okay, and um, you can see there's some old ones in here, but you can see so there's 37 cards vintage, and there was 36 that matched got matched by the AI service, and one that didn't. All of these say zero because I went in and and uh, fixed the manual review. In other words, what this means is the service went out, found a match, and um, and then populated the data. So one of them did not and then you got to go in but the thing is like i said you got to go in here and uh, make verify that everything was right like for instance i think right on the on the jump here one was wrong i looked at it this isn't gonna be a detailed version because i'm gonna actually use this service and show you step by step how to use it but not today but i'll show you like this one was um a 54 tops and this is bob perky but see it populated it uh gear alley you can see on the card that it's Bob Perky. This is the scan of my card. So if you look at the other top, at the top though, it shows other matches. And if you just click on that Bob Perky, okay, now all the data is right. And this is a rookie card. And then you click save changes. So, and now, so that's correct. I corrected that one, but that wasn't the one that wasn't uh, matched. You'd have to go scroll down and it highlights it in red here. And it's being a little slow. It'll, it'll load the images here. Um, so this is the one that says not match. And I, this is what I've learned, especially with the vintage is the, these cards with like three people on them, highlights, um, or like RBI leaders, stuff like that. They have a tough time, but it's very simple. I'm gonna find this card in the stack here. Uh, there it is. I found it. Okay. So here's the card. Now all you gotta do is go to the year. This is going to be 84 tops and click manual search baseball, 1984 tops and then just put the, the number you don't have to fill out anything else card number is six card number six hit search there you go bam there's the card boom click it all right now it's populated save changes okay now if, now if i go back out you'll see the manual re review has been taken care of that's how it works um but you do as i said it's really important to go back in and go through them one by one, make sure that it was right. And what I do as I do this, is I go through and price them. Cause the cool thing about this app is they got comps, recent sales, like, so sold data, you can click it and go, it'd take you to, you know, the sold listings on eBay or active listings and see what people were actually listing the card for. So that's all right in one thing here. So I get, so like this one, for instance, people got it listed. And I look at, cause mine's free shipping. So 79 cent at 4.95. And if I do uh, shipping plus lowest first, someone's got it straight up for 189, which is crazy for a card this old. Oh, this is 94, 54. I don't know, mine's in real poor condition. I'd probably put this one. I'd probably put it, I just list it at 299 and I always take offers. So that's what I'd price that card at. Um, in, in better condition, it's, sold, it's selling for five bucks or so. so uh, mine's in run over by a truck condition, but I'll put it 299. Someone comes in with the offer of 179. I'll probably take it. Right. Um, that's how it works. You go through and then you just go through them one by one, but that's how this works. Then you, you finish it all up and then you, you can, there's a place here. If you go back here, um, I go to spreadsheet view and all the ones that have errors or something's missing like the price. So. But once you get all of the red uh, error errors to go away, 
meaning you've priced it um, or the the title's too long or whatever. It'll, it'll highlight it in red, show you what's wrong, save it, then export batch, eBay CSV, and then you upload it to eBay. So th there you go, guys. That's just a high level overview. I'm gonna do a, a full scale review of the scanner, a full scale review of Car Dealer Pro in separate videos. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel and you will be, um, uh, be hopefully encouraged by this information. So thanks guys for all the engagement. Thanks for watching the videos. And that's all I got on this one. Deuces.